Deep beneath Southeast Asia's ancient mountains lies a hidden kingdom, Sondung Cave, the world's largest cave. This colossal cavern holds its own weather, clouds, and even a rainforest, all sealed beneath miles of stone. For millennia, it was a whispered legend, its entrance lost in dense jungle, its scale unimaginable. Only in 2009 did the world truly discover this lost realm, a world within our world, untouched and mysterious. What secrets lie in its endless darkness? What life has evolved in isolation, unseen by human eyes? Sun Dung beckons us to step into its silent ancient halls and witness the impossible. Sun Dung is not make-believe. It's a living, breathing world under the ground. Its main path is so big, it could hold a city block, even with tall buildings. Sunlight shines through holes in the ceiling, making spots where rainforests grow in endless dim light. Trees grow 50 meters tall, reaching for light they'll never quite touch. Special animals, monkeys, fish that can't see, and bugs have changed to live in this lonely world. Life here shows how strong nature is, growing well in the most surprising places. Sondung makes us think differently about what can exist right under our feet. Sondung's story started a really, really long time ago, under an old, old sea. Lots of old sea creatures piled up and turned into rock called limestone. This happened over millions of years, making a huge stone picture. You can see old bones and shells in the cave walls. They quietly show how old this place is. Cracks and breaks in the limestone made a perfect spot for a secret world to grow. Every layer of rock is like a chapter in Earth's story, showing how things slowly change and become new. This cave isn't just made of rock, it's made of time itself. Water was the true architect of Sandung. Over millions of years, acidic rainwater and a relentless underground river carved vast tunnels and chambers. The river's force sculpted a passage 9 kilometers long, wide enough for a jumbo jet. Stalactites and stalagmites grew, decorating the halls with stone masterpieces. Every drop of water shaped this world, creating a cathedral of darkness and silence. The cave's formation is a testament to the patient artistry of water and time. Even now, the cave continues to evolve, shaped by the river's eternal flow. For a very long time, Sundung was a quiet place of rocks and water. Then, its roof fell in two spots, letting sunshine and life pour in. Dirt and good stuff for plants fell down, making rich soil for a secret jungle. Seeds and tiny plant parts came, carried by the wind and animals, and a rainforest started growing in the cave's dim light. Trees grew tall and thin, reaching hard for the light far away. This hidden garden, called the Garden of Edom, became a safe place for special new kinds of life to grow. Sun Dung changed from just a cool rock formation into a living, breathing world. This cave is a living museum, a chronicle of Earth's history written in stone, water, and light. Its walls preserve fossils from ancient seas, bones of lost creatures, and monumental stalagmites that have grown for hundreds of thousands of years. Here, even stone is shaped by life, blurring the line between living and non-living. Sun Dong's vast chambers hold a mystery clouds drifting beneath a sunless stone sky. Here, mist forms from warm, humid air meeting the cave's cool depths, creating a miniature weather system. This hidden world, with its own river, forest and sky, challenges our understanding of nature's boundaries and reminds us the Earth still holds secrets. Long before explorers arrived, Sondung was a place of myth, its roaring abyss believed to be the voice of a sacred spirit. Legends spoke of phantom guardians and ancient creatures, their stories echoing through the cave's shadowy halls. Today, science and folklore intertwine, blurring the line between myth and the secret still hidden in stone.
Deep within Sundong, nature crafts impossible jewels. Giant cave pearls, smooth and perfect, formed in darkness and silence. Their size and abundance baffle scientists, as if the cave holds a secret formula. These shimmering spheres are a testament to the cave's mysterious power, a silent challenge to our understanding of beauty shaped by water, stone and time. The discovery of a rich and thriving ecosystem within Sundung was a landmark moment, but it also opened a new chapter of profound biological mysteries. The animals and plants that call this cave home have been evolving in near-total isolation for thousands, perhaps hundreds of thousands of years. This separation from the outside world has turned the cave into a unique laboratory of evolution, producing life forms found nowhere else on the planet. Recently, explorers have officially catalogued seven new species of animals, including blind, translucent fish, and ghostly white insects, creatures perfectly adapted to a life of eternal darkness. Their very existence poses a fascinating question. Is this a sanctuary or a prison? The adaptions of these creatures are radical and extreme. The cavefish, for example, have no eyes and no pigmentation, as these features would be useless and biologically expensive in a world without light. Instead, they have developed heightened senses of touch and pressure to navigate the dark river currents. Similarly, the cave's insects and arachnids are often pale and spindly, with elongated antennae to feel their way through the darkness. These are classic examples of troglobitic evolution, but the sheer biodiversity in Sundung suggests its ecosystem is far more complex and robust than typical subterranean environments, which are often sparse and limited in resources. This raises a critical debate among biologists. How did this isolated world become so diverse? The traditional model of cave ecosystems relies on nutrients being washed in from the outside. While the dolines provide some connection to the surface, many scientists argue that the volume of life within Sundung seems to exceed what could be supported by external inputs alone. This has led to speculation about a more self-sustaining food web. Could chemosynthetic bacteria, which derive energy from chemical reactions with minerals in the rock rather than from sunlight, form the base of this unique food chain? If so, the cave is not just a hidden world, but an alien one, running on completely different biological rules. The enigma of isolated evolution in San Dung challenges our perception of life's resilience and adaptability. It suggests that hidden pockets of unique biodiversity may exist all over the world, concealed beneath our feet in unexplored cavern systems. Each new species discovered in Sundung is a genetic time capsule, offering clues about evolutionary pathways that have been severed from the rest of the planet. It is a living, breathing mystery that forces us to wonder what other undiscovered life forms might be waiting in the passages yet to be explored, evolving in splendid isolation, completely unaware of the sunlit world above. The official explanation for Sundung's creation is the slow, patient process of water erosion acting on limestone over millions of years. This theory is scientifically sound and accounts for many of the cave's features. However, the sheer, almost unbelievable scale of the main passage has led some geologists and independent researchers to question whether erosion alone could be responsible. They argue that the immense uniform width and height of the primary chamber are difficult to explain solely by the action of a river. This has given rise to a debate about unseen architects, other, more powerful geological forces that may have helped shape this subterranean metropolis. One prominent theory posits that the cave's formation was heavily influenced by major tectonic activity. Proponents of this idea suggest that the cave developed along a massive pre-existing fault line, a deep fracture in the Earth's crust. According to this model, the initial void was not carved by water, but rather torn open by the immense forces of shifting tectonic plates. The river then simply found its way into this preformed chasm, acting more as a polisher and decorator than the primary excavator. This would help explain the cavern's linear shape and its colossal dimensions, attributing its grand scale to forces far more powerful than flowing water. This debate opens the door to even more speculative ideas. Some have pointed to the unusual sand towers, towering tent-like formations within the cave, as evidence of phenomena beyond normal erosion. These structures are thought to have formed as water dripped down around harder pebbles, eroding the softer sand and silt around them. 
Yet their size and bizarre shapes have led some to wonder if other forces, like powerful acoustic resonances or unique hydrostatic pressures during ancient flood events, played a role in their construction. The cave becomes a gallery of geological sculptures whose creation methods are still not fully understood, leaving room for a sense of wonder and mystery. Ultimately, the question of the cave's primary architect remains a subtle but significant point of contention. Was it truly the work of a patient river over millions of years, or was it born from a more violent and sudden geological cataclysm? The truth likely lies somewhere in between, a complex interplay of tectonic stress, chemical dissolution, and hydraulic erosion. But the mystery persists, reminding us that even the ground beneath our feet is shaped by forces of unimaginable power. The cave stands as a silent monument, its very existence a testament to the unseen architects, be they water, time, or the slow grinding power of the earth itself. For centuries, the world's largest cave was a secret kept by the jungle and mountains. In 2009, explorers finally breached its veil, trekking through dense jungle to reveal a world of colossal chambers, mist, and underground jungle. Their headlamps pierced the darkness, unveiling a place more wondrous than legend, a true frontier on Earth. Deep within the cave, explorers entered a gallery of wonders so immense it felt sacred. They named the largest passage Hope and Vision, home to towering stalagmites and delicate sand towers, nature's art sculpted by time and water. Each formation, from giant pearls to stone spires, revealed the cave's breathtaking beauty and profound mystery. Deep inside the cave, explorers discovered a living jungle, an arc of isolated life, thriving in sunlight that pierced the darkness. Monkeys swung through subterranean trees and biologists found new species, from blind fish to white spiders. This hidden world is a living laboratory, a fragile reminder of nature's power to surprise. Deep within Sondung, Explorers uncovered relics frozen in time, animal bones preserved in silt, ancient fossils in limestone, and sediment layers recording millennia of history. Each discovery revealed a silent archive, a time capsule where the past endures. Here the cave story is written in stone, bone, and earth, untouched for centuries. After navigating colossal passages, the explorers faced the Great Wall of Vietnam, an 80-meter-high barrier, seemingly the cave's final secret. Beyond it, they discovered a hidden jade lake, tranquil and mysterious, marking both an end and a beginning. The true edge of knowledge, like the horizon, always recedes, inviting us to keep exploring. We have ventured into the heart of the earth, walked beneath colossal stone cathedrals and witnessed life thriving in perpetual darkness. Leaving the cave, we realize this is only the first chapter of an epic story. Sondung is a fragile ancient world, one that demands our respect, protection and wonder for generations to come. At the edge of the known, the cave's mysteries remain. Strange fossils, hidden passages, and ancient symbols whisper of lost worlds and forgotten knowledge. Each unanswered question opens a new door, reminding us that exploration is not just about mapping space, but about embracing wonder. The cave's greatest gift is curiosity itself. Sundung feels like a world never meant for human eyes. Hidden for millennia, protected by jungle and stone, its discovery is a reminder. Some wonders are best left as mysteries. The cave beckons us to explore with humility, to listen and to move with reverence, accepting that some secrets should remain hidden. The story of Sandung is not over. It lives, it breathes, it evolves with every new discovery and every unanswered question. 
It is a living narrative written in stone and water, and it continues to wait patiently in the darkness for the next chapter to be written. The light at the end of the Jade Lake is not just an exit, it is an invitation. It is a call to the explorer that resides within each of us, a challenge to look at our own world with new eyes and to seek out the hidden wonders that lie just beneath the surface of the mundane. The greatest marvels of Earth may not be in the stars above, but concealed in the deep, silent places right beneath our feet. What beasts, unseen and unknown, drift through the shadowed halls of this cave or swim in the unplumbed depths of its dark river? What other hidden worlds, perhaps even larger and more magnificent than Sun Dung, lie dormant in other mountain ranges across the globe, waiting for their own moment of discovery? These are not idle fantasies. They are real possibilities that fire the imagination and fuel the spirit of exploration. The search for wonder is a journey without a final destination, and Sun Dung is a powerful reminder that there are still profound secrets waiting to be uncovered by those who are willing to look. One thing has become certain through this journey. The Earth's story is far from complete. Its capacity to create beauty, to foster life in the most impossible conditions, and to hide entire worlds from our view is boundless. The cave lives, it breathes, and it waits for those who feel called to listen to its whispers. Its ongoing tale is a testament to the fact that mystery is not a void to be filled, but a presence to be revered. It is the quiet hum of the universe reminding us that there is always more to learn, more to see, and more to feel. This is the essence of Obsidian Scrolls. We are drawn to these forgotten places and these lost stories, to the legends that whisper from the edges of our maps. If you too feel this call, if the story of a hidden world with its own forest, river, and clouds has stirred something deep within you, then join the search. Look deeper, listen quieter, and explore slower. The world is full of secrets, hidden for a reason, waiting for those who are ready to find them. The next scroll is waiting.